Hey everyone, it's Blue here at Blue Bears Games, and for this week's video, I will be showing you the second pauper formatted deck that was ordered from the same customer. The deck they wanted was a Zombie Tribal Graveyard Recursion on a $20 budget. What I'm about to show you is what I came up with, but I'm going to have to show it to you in a slightly different way. Normally, before I ship a deck to somebody, I film the deck beforehand, and then I edit the film later. Well, this time, I had a brain fart and just sent the deck and forgot to film the deck. So, like I did with the Sliver deck about a year ago, this video will be done using graphics instead of the physical cards. Who knows, maybe it will come out a little better this way. So, without further ado, here is the deck that I put together for them. I'll start off with the heart of the deck, Carrion Feeder. It's a 1 to cast 1-1 one, one that can't block, but you can sacrifice a creature to put a plus 1 plus 1 counter on it. This ability makes it possible to have the biggest threat on the board early, possibly putting your opponent on defense mode and unable to focus on their own strategy. The fact that this build has recursion means that the sacrifice creature is most likely going to be a benefit, and you'll see why as I show you the rest of the creatures. Next up is Grim Physician, a 1 to cast 1-1 one, one as well, with when it dies, you must have target creature and opponent controls get minus 1, minus 1. It's an ability that synergizes well with the Carrion Feeder, and I chose Grim Physician specifically because you must target an opponent's creature. This small distinction is important because there are other creatures with similar abilities that don't specify opponent's creatures. When they die, if you're the only one with a creature on the board, you would have to target your own, which just feels bad. The first two drop that I chose is Lazo Tep Reaper. It's a 2 mana 1 2 that amasses 1 when it enters play. Getting two creatures for such a low cost is just good card advantage. Plus, since the deck is partially graveyard recursion, getting the cast at a second time means you get either two creatures again, or you can grow your army, making it a bigger threat. The second two drop is Puget Goblin, a 2 mana 2 2 with Persist. Persist says that when the creature dies, if it did not have a minus 1 minus 1 counter on it, you can return it back to the battlefield with the minus 1 minus 1 counter on it. As you can see, it's a pretty good target to sack to a carrying feeder, since it recurs itself one time, giving you a second opportunity to sack to the feeder again. The next creature, Gravedigger, is part of the recursion package. It's a 4 to cast 2-2 that when it enters play, you can return a creature from your graveyard to your hand. Technically, this was supposed to be a card called Ghoul Razor, but it seems I've run out of them because I sell many zombie decks, and I'd like to include them in all of them. Up next, Grey Merchant of Asherdell. It's a late game finisher and most likely your best target for recursion. It's a 5 to cast, 2-4, that when it enters play, each opponent loses life equal to your devotion to black. Devotion is calculated by counting the total number of pips, in this case black pips, on all of your permanents in play. This does include the ones on Grey Merchant itself, because he will be in play when the ability resolves. In the right circumstances, two or even just one successful cast of this creature could win some games out of nowhere. And the last creature I added, Gem Palm Polluter, is also both a possible win con and a high value target for recursion. It is a 6 mana 4 3, but you most likely won't be casting it. Instead, you'll more likely be cycling it, and hopefully multiple times in a game. Its cycling cost is 4, and when you do cycle it, you may have target player lose 1 life for each zombie in play. Not just on your side, but all players' sides. As you can see, all of the creatures are zombies and all synergize very well with each other. Now, let's take a look at the spells that I chose to include. We start with Ghoul Caller's Chant, a 1 mana sorcery that you can choose to do one of two abilities. Either you can return target creature card from your graveyard to your hand, or you can do the better of the two options and return two target zombies from your graveyard to your hand. This was a no-brainer to add. The next spell, Village Rites, is a 1 mana instant that has an additional cost to cast it, you must sacrifice a creature and it will allow you to draw two cards. Card advantage is a must in any game of magic, and this card also allows you to sack something at instant speed. A perfect target for this is Grey Merchant, just an FYI. We also need removal spells to clear the way for your creatures to get through, so I'll start with Diabolic Edict, a 2 mana instant that forces your opponents to sacrifice a creature. Truth be told, I was going to make this spot Chainer's Edict, but it's only legal in Pauper due to the technicality of it being a common on Magic the Gathering online. I didn't want the person who received this deck to run into any issues about legality, so to curb that possibility, I just went with Diabolic Edict. And the last non-land card in the deck, and second removal spell I chose, was Nameless Inversion. It's a 2-mana tribal instant that has Changeling and gives target creature plus 3, minus 3. It can be used for 3 purposes. You can buff something of yours that has a toughness high enough to survive and get more damage through. You can debuff an opponent's creature with a toughness of 3 or less to destroy it. Or, the super techie thing you can do is return it to your hand with Ghoul Caller's Chant. That's right folks, you heard me correctly. Since it has Changeling, it's considered all creature types in all zones, meaning it's a zombie that can be returned with Ghoul Caller's Chant's second choice to return two zombie cards from your graveyard to your hand. As I had stated previously, there's just a lot of synergy with each card in the deck. 
Now we look at the land base, which isn't as exciting, but still necessary for the deck to function correctly. I've included a couple of Mortuary Myers to really buff that graveyard recursion theme. Sure, they come into play tapped, but hopefully by the time you use them, it won't matter. The rest of the lands are just basic swamps, because there aren't many other lands in the pauper format that would help this type of build much. And there you have it folks, Pauper Zombies with Graveyard Recursion on a $20 budget. It has quite a lot going on for such a small price tag, don't you think? I can't wait to hear how well it does. Anyway, that's all I've got for you right now. Thanks for watching, and as always, if you have any comments, questions, suggestions, or concerns, or you just want to talk or chat about any of the videos I put out, you can do so using any of the methods I have displayed here. Additionally, if you would like to support the channel, you can do so in three ways. Donations are accepted and greatly appreciated. I have three methods with which you can do so displayed on the screen, and keep in mind that no amount is too small. If donations aren't your thing, and you would like to get something for your money, that's great too. I sell a lot of the decks I present on the channel, as well as mystery packs, so if you're interested in any of these, you can contact me using the information I have up on your screen right now. Directly contacting me is usually the best and cheapest way to do so, but you can always look at what I currently have available on the Facebook Marketplace. And lastly, if you want to show your love and support for the channel, but like myself, are a little strapped for cash, it doesn't cost you anything to subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so yet, watch some videos and give them a like, and possibly share them out on your social media as you use to help spread my content to more people. No matter what way you choose is greatly appreciated and will help support the channel, and I thank you for it. Sadly, that is all the time I have for this video. Thank you for watching, and please, stick around and watch some of the many great videos I've posted over the last few years, and remember to check back again for new content I'll be posting every week. Have a great day.